Here we go. Number one, keep your legs together. Number two. Okay, who is really going to be doing this in the office? I mean... Hey, this is Lance McGowan here, and today we're going to learn about six exercises that you can do for a flat belly while you're sitting in the chair. That's right. Well, let's react to this video and do the dang thing. Okay. <laughs> six exercises for a flat belly that you can do in a chair. You know, our reality is all about going to the office and spending most... I don't know what I think about this guy talking with this little picture. I don't know. He looks like a, a hockey player. Okay, I don't know where I was going with that, but let's continue watching. Most of our daylight there. Sitting for a long time can harm your health and body. A review of 47 scientific research projects indicated that people who experience prolonged sitting could have cancer, diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, and obesity. The warning is clear. Don't go to the office. Hey, works for me. However, office work has... That's right, instead, stand while you work like I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. It really helps with circulation, by the way. But sometimes the bottom of my feet fall asleep. And then I just, like, kind of stand in place, kind of march in place and walk around. TMI? Too much information? Okay. Many advantages as well. So, we found six exercises which you can do at your desk to feel fresh and full of energy. Stay with us to learn more about them, and as usual, there's a little bonus waiting for you at the end. Counting down, exercise number six. Knee to chest lift. One, sit down on a chair. Keep your back straight without touching the back of the chair. Two, keep your feet. Clearly this ain't gonna work while standing. I almost about fell over. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay. On the floor, hip width apart. Three, keep your back straight, lift your right knee, and pull it to your chest. Keep your belly sucked in. Yeah, you. Number four, put your hands on your shin to better stretch your lower abdominal muscles. Five, repeat 20 to 30 times by alternating your knees. One, two, start. Now, remember to keep your back straight while performing the exercise. Do it in a slow and controlled manner. This exercise strengthens abdominal muscles, improves digestion, and helps burn fat. We all like to burn fat. Note that you should not do this exercise if you get a back or leg pain while performing it. Do you feel how energy is starting to run all over your body? That is just the beginning. Well done! Let's move on to the next exercise. We're just going to pretend that I did it because standing, well, we already saw what happened last time, so. But you're more than welcome to do it. <laughs> or just continue watching. Yeah. Exercise number five, double knee lift. Here we go. Number one, keep your legs together. Number two. Okay, who is really going to be doing this in the office? I mean, come on, let's just be real for a moment. You're doing this in the office, people are going to be looking at you like, you all right? You over here working out while you working? Like, <laughs> I don't know if these are practical. I mean, just, just imagine somebody catching somebody in the cubicle doing some of these exercises. They're going to be like, you okay? Like, you, you all right? You know, like, you. <sighs> I don't know what else to say. Two, hold the sides of the chair with both hands. Three. All right, well, if you're not going to sit down and do exercises because you don't want people to think you're crazy, <laughs> then I think just standing up or walking around, or if you have, if you work from home, then, yeah, just walking around a little bit, I think that's cool, you know, and, and just getting the circulation going again. So I would, I would recommend drinking at least half your body weight in ounces of water, alkaline, distilled, or reverse osmosis, and that'll help with circulation and blood flow and getting oxygen and nutrients to your brain and, and helping with, you know, removing mental fog and helping with clarity, mental clarity and all that good stuff. Walking around will also get the blood flowing again. And yeah, that, I think those are some pr more practical ways that won't get as many funny looks, but at the same time, it gets things moving again. I think mean, that's, that's the main thing is just not to stagnate. Stag not to stagnate in life, <laughs> businesses, relationships, health, 
or anything else really you just want to constantly grow and keep things moving right and uh, I think that's key there's a lot of principles to pull from all of that <laughs> well if you like today's video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you want to watch the rest of this video I'll have the original link in the description below and otherwise if you haven't already done so hit the subscribe button for future video updates and I will catch you in the next video